We're gonna take a pack fresh, hyper rare alt art Pokemon card that I recently pulled from one of the hottest and newest sets in Pokemon. Oh my God, no we didn't. Are you kidding me? We're gonna grade it real fast and then we're gonna try to sell it on eBay for money. Money. We're gonna go from pull to profit, maybe. The last time we did this, it was with a pack fresh Dragonite Hollow from first edition Fossil, potentially worth $6,200. We graded it, we put it up on eBay and after hundreds of views, we didn't sell it. Nobody bought it. And that's the reality. We make these things out sometimes to be as liquid as cash. But the truth is they aren't cash until somebody pays for them and you have money in your bank account. Now, I'm not gonna make you wait to the end of the video to figure out whether or not this is actually something that we could sell or not. Cause I'm just gonna tell you right now, this card, the Sylveon VMAX alternate art from Eevee Heroes, we made some money. It did sell, the payment went through, and the money is in my account right now. How much did we sell it for? Well, you'll see. But I think the more important question is how much profit did we end up with? That's how much we sold it minus how much it costs to grade and list and all that stuff. What did we end up with? What is our take home money? And eBay fees? Man, it's, just... oh my God. We're gonna open this Eevee Heroes box, but I have my doubts, really. Oh my God, no we didn't. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Now you don't just wanna send every single good pull that you have to a grading company. That would be a huge Ms. Kiff. I mean, mistake. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Ms. Kiff, I'm just, playing with you, I appreciate you, you've made me laugh. Not because of the card situation, I mean, seeing what you had done and, and, and how much money you lost, well, that was just brutal, but appreciate what you do. Thank you for being real about that. Anyway, you wanna examine your cards closely. And if you're trying to make money grading cards to sell them later, you wanna make sure they're in the best condition possible. Now, if you're doing this just in case your collection, you don't care about the grade, well, then more power to you. But centering, corners, how the edges look, all that stuff matters. And by the looks of it, as you can see, man, the quality is just immaculate here. This is definitely a contender for PSA 10. And the Japanese cards are just so much better produced than the English cards, it seems. I mean, just look at this Packfresh card. I literally just opened it and wow, it looks like it was cut with like a buzzsaw or something. Man, Man, Pokemon, come on. Like, we'll talk more about this later. With the Sylveon, again, we got lucky that the quality seems to be legit and even luckier, it was four in the afternoon and I had enough time to pack this up and submit it to PSA. There are a lot of people who have pulled this card, but hardly anyone who has it graded yet. Speed is key here, which is why I'm opting for the $300 Super Express level at PSA. Here's how much money we've spent so far. The Eevee Heroes booster box, where we pulled this from, is $90. PSA Super Express grading, $300 plus $14 insurance. And then FedEx next day shipment, $25. So, so far, that's $429 spent. This is an expensive experiment. Let's hope we recoup our costs and then some. All right, we got the shipment in five days after sending, which is a record for me really, really fast for Express. That's kind of what you would expect Express to be. Before I've done Express, it's taken up to two weeks, this time only five days, and speed is important here. So I'm very thankful this came back quickly. So let's open it up. Let's be a 10, please, that would be so cool. A nine would still do pretty well. This is a ultra modern set, it just came out. It would still be attractive, I think, especially with grading being very expensive right now, but 10 would absolutely be a game changer and would help us in our experiment here for sure. So let's hope it looked good when we saw it. Let's see how it looks now it is a yes yes a 10 there we go let's go let's go list this thing right now let's go like before i don't want to use my network or connections so we can keep this experiment as real life as possible so we're going to sell this thing on ebay and we're going to do a full seven day auction so this thing ends with an adequate amount of time to be seen. Today is June 12th. This will end one week later on June 19th in the evening. We're gonna list this price at $62 to start. So for now, let's enjoy the ride. As expected, because this is a new card from a new set and we acted quickly, I saw the first bid at $62 come in in less than an hour. This, I hope, is gonna be a fire auction. Now, as you can see here, eBay tells us this item will sell, which is great. But of course, we wanna see how much profit, if any, we can end up with. About 15 minutes later, we had about 74 views already and the auction jumped to over $100, which was just insane to see happen so quickly. We still have a whole week left in this auction. Now, really interesting, later that evening, I got a message from someone interested in the card. He said, I'll give you $300 right now. Based on the velocity of the campaign so far and where I think it's headed, I knew it was too low. And again, a great sign for the interest in this. I slightly decline and I mean, it's $300 to grade. So I wasn't gonna sell it just for $300 right off the bat. In your mind right now, I want you to guess where will this end up? See how close you get. After two days, we crossed $200 and check out how many views this was getting. 461 total views and 46 watchers. The next day we hit $305 crossing the offer from our direct message earlier. The same day, now $405 with a total of 28 bids. And check this out, with about four days left in the auction, $750. 
dollars, 46 bids, 61 watchers. How high is this going to go? And then all of a sudden, nothing. It went quiet. Three days left, no new additional bids. Two days left, no new bids. 21 hours remaining, we were still at $750. Nine hours remaining, 750. Four hours remaining, 750. I thought maybe it went up too fast and people got scared. So now they're holding back until the final moments. Let's all save our bids until the last few minutes and then we'll heat it back up again. Finally, with two hours and 50 minutes remaining, someone finally outbid the high bidder, $760. Whew, okay, it wasn't broken. All right, so we got 13 minutes about left in the auction. I'll pop up the auction on the screen right now and um, let's hope we see some fire. Ooh, okay, 770 with eight minutes and 36 seconds left. That's a good sign. Let's go, let's go. One minute remaining, here we go. 48 bids, 12 bidders, 88 watchers, $770. Let's see some movement. All right, sometimes there are sniper bidders that bid in the last 10 seconds, so I'm hopeful. Still at 770. Come on. Where are you at? Where are you at? 10 seconds. Come on. There's got to be something. And there it is. We ended at 770 with literally zero bids in the final minute. That is kind of crazy. It's very strange. It's a lot of money. Guess what? We don't get to keep it all. The next day. All right, so there's always the worry, of course, that the buyer's not going to pay. Even though the auction ended, doesn't mean that they're actually going to send the money. Well, thankfully, this person, after 12 hours, did send the money. I did see the money in the bank account, and that's all good. So that's fantastic. I'm gonna ship this thing out and make sure it's uh, properly packaged. We're gonna send it out because they paid, right? So $774 in the bank, right? No. Let me show you the transaction fees from eBay. So the buyer actually paid $852.93 for this card. eBay then takes 12.35% of that, or $105.64. And then I'm left as a seller with $668.36. Let's do some quick math to figure out exactly how much we made from this, because remember, we spent a lot of money to get here. Did we actually take home a profit? And if so, how much? $774 minus $105.64 in eBay fees, minus $90 for the box of EV Heroes, minus $314 for PSA grading, minus $25 for shipping to PSA, minus $4 for shipping this card to the buyer. That leaves us with a grand total of $235.36. So many things had to happen right in order for us to make a profit on this. And any one of those moments, right? Those moments of maybe, those moms grading, it could have been a PSA 9, PSA 8. The auction couldn't have ended with 770. It could have been 570. We could have been in the hole very, very easily. So what do you think? Is this a viable business option or is it really just a gamble? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope this experiment was helpful for you. Peace out. Click on the next video right now.